ask yourself is this important is this thing worth my time start that thing that you've been so afraid to start <laughs> welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you have seen this face hi love my name is Josephine Alaba I make interesting lifestyle vlogs chit chat self-development videos tutorials and other amazing things on my channel so if any of this interests you do well to join the family okay turn on your notifications subscribe and give this video a big big thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video and if you are not new hi love Thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. As you can tell from the title, I'll be sharing seven ways to level up in your 20s. When I say level up, I mean things that you can do to be better, things that that can make you look put together in your 20s. So if you want to know these seven things, then keep watching. Now, this is 2022, and I know that a lot of us in December had made some, I set some goals or made some resolutions that things I would like to do in 2022. How far has that gone for you? Have you started doing the things that you said you would do? Now this brings me to my first point. One of the things that you can do, one of the things that you need to do to level up in your 20s is to be disciplined. I cannot even overemphasize this. Discipline is, is key. And I'm bringing out these points because this is like the major thing. If you're not disciplined, the other remaining things that I'll be sharing with you in this video might not really work for you. So it's when you are disciplined that these other things can work for you. Now, how can you be disciplined? There are several ways that you can be disciplined. You know that you have this habit of always being on your phone. The first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is to hold your phone and go online on social media for people that work in the media that is like part of their work you know you're working i mean like when you're going on social media they like you want to just find like what's happening what's trending and all of that if you know that it's not part of what you want to do in your money that's not part of your money routine or things that you feel like you should do in your morning don't go to your phone the first thing in the morning or don't go to social media rather let me not say don't go to your phone because there are certain things that you can go to your phone for now one other way that you can be more disciplined is for you to spend more time with yourself i've met a couple of people that they, they always like to be in the company of others they don't like when they are all by themselves but i think like that is that's a very essential part of growth in our 20s because when you spend more time with yourself you tend to be less distracted and I feel like in our 20s, one of the things that makes us less disciplined is distractions. We have distractions coming from all corners. So I feel if you want to be more disciplined, then you need to spend more time with yourself. That way you clear out some of these distractions. And then you need to make a conscious effort. It's not just about saying, I want to be more disciplined. You, you have to make a conscious effort. Like, you need to make a sacrifice. You need to sacrifice something. For instance, where I have a video that will be going out, maybe it's tomorrow. Today, I ask myself, what and what do I have to do? Sometimes I get so exhausted from doing house chores and all. But I don't let that stop me from editing my video that will be going out the following day. She gets. That's me trying to discipline myself. If, if, I don't, if I don't edit my vlog, if I don't edit my video during the day, I punish myself so during the night I stay up sometimes I stay up till like 3 a.m. trying to make sure that my video is put together I export I upload sometimes I even I create my thumbnails before going to bed now this will bring me to my next point my second point in this leveling up journey is to plan everything and when I mean plan everything we really can't plan everything so it's like in the simplest things like your day for instance i suggest planning your day a day before i usually do mine in the evening before going to bed for instance i have a video that will be going out tomorrow okay and today i'm asking myself what about do i want to do tomorrow is my vlog ready am i going to do some laundry will i make breakfast in the morning 
am i going out on an errand do i want to go out with friends maybe you wake up at 8 a.m on a normal day but because of all these things that you have ask yourself how do i do all of this if i wake up at 8 a.m like i usually do will i be able to meet up all of these things then you say okay you wake up earlier to do these things so you can meet up time that's you planning and it doesn't have to be one serious planning oh my god like i need to do this i need to do this by eight and it doesn't have to be that that serious <laughs> but just try to plan so i'm just trying to lay emphasis on getting a to-do list sometimes you have the draft in our head but i feel like it's it's always preferable if you have it written down somewhere we should also have at the back of our mind that certain things can happen so when we are planning we should also plan for the unexpected so that when these things happen you will not be so worked up and please try as much as possible not to over plan okay please don't over plan okay educate yourself slash invest in yourself those two things they go hand in hand you want to learn something you're having doubts about something you can google it you can learn a skill it doesn't have to be something big things that you're passionate about though i know a lot of people still learn a skill and a skill and then at the end of the day you learn something and then you're not even using that skill that you learn so i also want to emphasize the need for you to learn something that you like something that you're passionate about and use that thing to improve your life do well to invest in yourself if you don't invest in yourself guys nobody will invest in you take the first step to invest in yourself and you'll find out that when you tend to educate and invest in yourself you feel you feel a lot better about yourself now the next thing you need to do or the next thing that you can do to level up in your 20s is to learn how to face your fears like this is so important because some of us we we care so much about about certain things what people think about us how people see us people's expectations about us or people's expectations of us that that we are so afraid to do certain things that we want to do for instance someone who has probably gone to school and maybe had some financial issues and couldn't finish and and left school for one thing or the other wants to go back to school and then you will hear this discouragement you hear things like what do you want to go back to school to do like, don't you know how old you are and all of that if if you really want to do that thing if you really want to go back to school since i'm using school for instance if you really want to go back to school don't let those things discourage you but let me tell you one thing yeah if supposing you're 25 and you want to go back to school and maybe it's a five year course you'll be 30 you'll be like oh my god like five before i'm done with school, I'll be like 30 years guys whether or not you take that course to go to school for five years in five years time you will still be 30 years so it's either in 30 years you get a degree and other things in your life or in 30 years you don't get a degree and then you have those other things in your life that you want to get in five years it's your choice okay but the most important thing is if you really want to do that thing do it facing your fears is is like one of the most important things that you need to do to level up in your 20s to do better in your 20s what is that thing that you've been so you've been so afraid to do do you want to write a book do you want to start a business do you want to start a podcast do you want to start a channel on youtube and you're worrying and you're like oh my god what if people don't like me what if people don't like my podcast what if people don't like my channel what if people don't like my book what if people don't read my book what if i don't get that scholarship you would not know if you don't start you get so you should go for it face your fears after all what's the worst that can happen i feel like the worst thing that can happen to us as humans is death and we are all going to die one day so do you want to like spend your life here on earth being afraid to do things that you really want to do things that you know that you have you have such an amazing idea about and it's okay to be afraid but for you to be better for you to level up in your 20s you need to learn how to face your fears okay so yeah this is a sign you need to start a podcast start a channel start that thing that you've been 
so afraid to start now my next tip is to use your time well i would say mind your business like why would you want to spend 30 to 1 hour of your time arguing and defending someone maybe a celebrity that doesn't even know that you exist like why don't you have better things to do with your time i understand when when you're hanging out with friends and then some some things come up and then you have to maybe they're talking about celebrity or something happens and then you can make a comment or two about it but don't, don't make it seem like to do or that affair you want to bring out your phone to show the person facts to show why you think this person did this and why you think this person like they don't even care about you they don't even know you like so like why are you wasting your time on things that do not really matter i feel like we all have certain things that, that we prioritize and i don't think wasting your time gossiping or talking about someone that does not really know you or does not even care about what you say about the person is one of those things except you are somebody that is making money from all of those things that are gossiping and then yeah you can do that because <laughs> there's a saying that says mind the business that pays but if you know that you're not getting anything from it like you're just literally just wasting your time then you need to mind your business you all have our problems okay don't take other people's problems and make them your problem if somebody does something to you or if something's happening that you feel like you need to to maybe say something about ask yourself is this important is this thing worth my time like don't I have other important things to do does this person deserve my energy when you ask yourself all these questions then it is determine your next step like whether or not you want to do that or you just lock it out so the things that you spend your time on and actually put your energy to really matters a lot it's not actually going to be easy if you are somebody that always likes to react to things all the time there is no certain time that's what is something to you that you will ignore you always you always must make a comment you always must say something to the point that everybody knows that if this person says this thing this person must definitely react sometimes surprise people oh wow he did not react oh she did not react like that's on another level do you get not every time somebody will say something and then they'll be like just give this person five minutes this person will reply and then this person replies like what i'm just trying to say is that you should be careful be conscious of what you give your time to and have at the back of your mind that not everyone deserves your energy that's just something to say not everyone deserves your energy now let's go to our next point now there are sometimes that we are so used to certain things that we tend to get comfortable it will get to a certain time where the goals that you've you've set that you've set out maybe for the year you are ticking them all the, like one at a time they are ticking them let me use my channel for instance if if i had a goal of hitting maybe 800 subscribers in january and then in january i hit 800 subscribers i'm excited i'm 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 glad i did that and then instead of me to like go to my next goal and keep on like keep up the energy i get comfortable she gets and i feel like this is one of the things that happens to a lot of us we tend to get comfortable when we achieve certain things and then when we get to a certain place one way that you can develop is not to get comfortable because when you get comfortable you're literally like telling your 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 mind that okay you are okay where you are you're comfortable like you don't want to push forward but we as humans like we always have to push like we are always moving the moment you relax it's just as if you are going backwards so don't have that don't be too comfortable when you hit a milestone celebrate that milestone and then move to the next milestone okay like keep on ticking 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 and then going forward now the last thing on my list is to pick your friends carefully i made a video some time ago of toxic friends was it toxic friends or toxic friendship or something like that i'll put the link of that video in the description so maybe you can check it out choosing friends it's so important in our lives pick people that you guys talk about business ideas you guys talk about going to places you guys talk about 
like important things and not always maybe gossip or talk about one person or the other because you know this person the next thing this your friend is bringing opportunities for you this is something that you can do or that you're good at they are sending you screenshots I, I thought you would like this so i screen grab this for you those kind of friends they want to they want to see you grow they want to see you better and i feel like being picky when it comes to friends and friendship is like one important thing for you to get better and one important thing that you need to do to level up in your 20s so guys those are the few things you can do to level up in your 20s so i'm also in my 20s and I, I feel like if if somebody that is in my age grade is doing or is talking about these things i would be more interested to listen to or be more motivated or moved to want to maybe do one or two of these things so i figured why not talk about this i do hope that these tips were helpful you can add yours also in the comment section any tip that you think that we need in our 20s to help us get better or to level up i'll be waiting in the comment section to read okay if you watch this point and you haven't joined the family do well to join the family okay by hitting that subscribe button turn your notification so you get notified anytime i upload my videos and if you like this video click the like button and share to a friend somebody might find it interesting i'll see you guys in my next video with that i'll say don't forget to laugh hard and love more Mmm.